I just caught a last minute load out of ORD9. I was actually headed towards the sort center. I didn't have anything booked. And I saw this six stop run come up. Tell me you can't get no money, damn it. Man, 13 pounds, that's some bullshit. Huh? <laughs> this load definitely ended up being worth $782. They were initially talking about 13 skids, which the truck only fits 12. It turned out to be 12 skids, and a lot of them were half loaded, so they were less than half to a quarter of a skid anyway. But I got everything loaded up, and it turned out that they do have all five of the preceding stops. So on a six stop run, that's telling you you have a pick and five drops. Oftentimes, they won't have all of your stops, but tonight, they did have all five stops. And like I said, it's a total of 205 miles. And I'm headed over to Rochelle, Illinois first. set up at some of these post offices never ceased to amaze me and as you can see they have vehicles larger than a 26 foot box truck that deliver to a lot of these post offices but it's normally postal vehicles as well as dumpsters as well as other people's homes, houses, and businesses. And if you look around me, you can kind of see how tight it is. To where when I pulled up here, I sat probably for two or three minutes and just decided what was the best option once he left for me to be able to bag in. And nine times out of 10, what I'm thinking he did was he bagged in through this lot, which is a straight shot. And I'm kind of figuring that that's the way that he's going to go out, which we'll see here shortly. That's kind of what I was thinking on my way in. What would be the best way to come out of here? Because... It's really tight and you don't want to tap one of these vehicles with a truck of this height because you could do a whole lot of damage. So he's jumping in his truck right now and I'm going to see which way he goes out, which I'm sure he's going to go straight. And then the plan I came up with. Even though it's a little tight, I should be able to turn right, which will be the same way he goes out, go forward a little bit, and then bag in. That way I have a straight shot in and out. Because oftentimes, the obvious way is not so obvious. And 
yeah, he's going to go straight. Which I kind of figured. And that's probably a... It might be 40 feet. I doubt it. But... Now it's my turn. And what I'm worried about is my driver's side back in tapping this truck. Because it's if you can see really tight, I got a mailbox right here. So this is where a lot of your driving skills are coming into play. I'm just gonna go straight to where I can clear that mailbox and this van. And as you can see, it's tight. But if I go wide enough, I miss the van. And then like I say, I have a straight shot out. So some of this stuff, believe it or not, takes a little critical thinking. It's not just cut and dry. You think you pull in and it's a direct shot, but oftentimes you got to kind of maneuver to keep from causing damage. And that's something else that Amazon has been emailing lately about things being damaged and damage is being reported. So as I told you guys, it was completely filled to the brim. And now I gotta sort through these boxes to get to the skids. Which <laughs> That's one thing about these five and six stop runs. If you can't keep things organized and in the right drop format, you're gonna wish you never took these runs. You better off doing two and three stops because when you get into five and six stops, you definitely gotta have some type of organization skills and be able to keep up 
with the loose boxes and so forth. Otherwise, something's gonna get left behind. And by the time you finish your trip, you'll probably figure out what that is. Just finishing up unloading in Addison, Illinois. And just as a heads up, this particular post office, as I was unloading, one of the postal workers arrived and she asked me, she said, hey, you're not waiting, are you? And I said, no, I just got here. And she informed me that this is one of the locations that you don't necessarily have to wait at. You can drop your freight and go but I would use my own discretion. But she did this, just advise me that you don't have to wait. And five of the eight skids that's sitting here were already here when I got here, I only dropped three. So that's just a heads up, Addison, Illinois, they're not requiring you to wait. So normally if they tell you that, you won't ever be reported for dropping and going.
They don't want that mirror on the side of that mail truck. They say they don't need it. Cause there ain't no way this truck is close to this this uh God door. I'm just finishing up here in Harvey, Illinois. Like I said, I was on a six stop run with the first drop location being in Rochelle, Illinois, followed by Addison, Illinois, on over to Blue Island, Illinois, followed by Oak Forest, Illinois, finally ending here in Harvey, Illinois. And that was a total of 205 miles for $3.82 per mile, coming out to a total of $782. And I picked this up off of the spot load board at approximately 2 a.m., I wanna say. And it took all of about six hours to complete. With me ending here in Harvey, about 35 minutes from the sort center that I picked up at. But I wanted to do this quick recap and just touch on a few things, especially with these five and six stop runs for a lot of the newer individuals. Because in some situations, you may just want to stick to the two and three stop runs starting out because I'm just gonna say, with these five and six stoppers, me, I've been doing this a total of three years now. And they're still at times a challenge for me between making it to all five or six stops on time, getting into these post offices and the postal workers arriving to let you unload on time as well as other obstacles and issues that you can face during transit, moving the freight, or you can easily end up late for one, two, or more of your stops due to a small issue pertaining to, like I said, somebody not arriving when they're supposed to, a skid not being wrapped correctly and they're falling over and so forth. So I would advise, especially the newer individuals, to be careful when booking multiple stop runs and kind of have some type of plan and system in place to make sure that you're able to adhere to all of the time frames that are set forth on these type of runs. We all know we only get 12 minutes to unload at most drop locations. If they're requiring you to unload the skids into the postal bins, then you get 30 minutes. Those drops are far and few. Most of the drops you get 12 minutes to unload. And a lot of times that's barely enough time to get through the drop and onto your next location. It's been times where I've left the sort center on time and already been calculated as arriving late to my first post office. If you go by what Relay's app calculates. Now we know they calculate the truck moving at 55 miles per hour. Most of us are moving a little quicker than that. But still, you leave the sort center and that tells you that you don't have a whole lot of time for transit because when you start the GPS, you're already late. So that's just something I want to touch on and give you guys some advice on. Starting out, you may want to stick to the two and three stop runs. Once you get more experience, then I will move into the five, six stoppers. If you have to, if possible, I would avoid these all together. Cause like I said, it's just so much that can go wrong, but I ain't gonna make this video much longer, but I just wanted to touch on that, pop in with you guys, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and as usual, you guys stay safe out there, take it easy, and have a good one. Appreciate you.